Good morning, it's Richie from Drifter Manx here and this is my Truxus uh, 116th E-Revo VXL uh, review. Uh, I've borrowed this car from my good friend Alan uh, who's uh, loaned it to me uh, so I can uh, do a bit of playing around with it. You may have seen my uh, GPS test on it the other day uh, and I've got just done the first bashing run uh, outside with it. So, let's have a look under the uh, skin of this car and find out a bit more about what you get included for the VXL spec uh, and what this car is actually capable of. You know, I say review and not unboxing, as I say, this is my friend's car, it's already been in use, uh, so I just want to talk a little bit about what you get for your money. Well, first of all, uh, this isn't the stock VXL body, as the Kina uh, among you will have uh, spotted. This is uh, my friend's sort of uh, slightly customised body on here, uh, but you do get a similar one uh, with the uh, VXL. The latest version of this car comes with something different to this particular version. The latest version comes with the Truxus TSM Total Stability Management System fitted. You are looking for this extra dial to be on the radio. If it doesn't have that dial on, uh, the car is not the latest version of the, uh, the Mini E Revo VXL. The latest version comes with TSM. Without that second dial on there, uh, it's not a uh, TSM version, so don't be sold the wrong thing. If you just buy an older version of this uh, car, a used one, uh, or um, an older version from a shop, uh, it will just have the left hand dial, it won't have this right hand dial on there. So don't be oversold uh, a TSM system when it doesn't have one on the car. Now, the eye catching thing about this car is its headline figure of 50 miles an hour at top speed. You will see in my other video, it's only done 31 miles an hour. That 50 mile an hour top speed is based on a 3S LiPo pack being fitted to this car with the optional gearing fitted. So don't think, oh god, it's slow, this car's awfully slow at 31 miles an hour. It tracks the state 30 miles an hour for that configuration. So our speed of uh, run of 31 miles an hour is exactly on the money uh, for what they quote. Stop gearing, 2S pack, 30 plus miles an hour, we hit 31, so we're on the money there. So no doubt at all, uh, this thing will go much, much faster on 3S. Please do subscribe, we've got a test coming up with the hard gearing fitted to this car and the 3S pack on as well which we're going to reconfigure the car over the uh, the weekend. Some optional extras that have been fitted on this car uh, that you might want to consider, I just want to talk about briefly. Well I've taken a uh, camera off the tripod for a, a closer look at it and to show you some more of the, uh, the key features on this car. Uh, I've just got my uh, lithium polymer battery on here just to show you one additional feature, a really neat thing that my uh, friend Alan has fitted. He runs his car at night quite often and has fitted this fairly amazing light kit that is an official Traxxas item on there fitted as standard that just wires in down here. Uh, you see the little set on there. Um, this battery pack normally, uh, this is the, 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 the one thing I would say, this is a two cell lithium polymer pack. Fits in the battery compartment here. A standard, this car comes with a six cell nickel metal hydride pack. Uh, it will actually take two batteries in this car. One either side. Uh, you can run them uh, in parallel which will extend your run time uh, considerably and I'm told it will give a little bit more speed on there, a little bit better balance to the car as the weight is distributed uh, evenly on there. So I can quite believe that uh, but uh, down those lights look just stunning. So that's one really neat option you can uh, get your local trucks to steal will be able to sort you out with that. Uh, I think it's about $25-$30 uh, to fit that. Well worth it to my mind. Well. At the heart of this car lies the uh, Valenian uh, 380 uh, brushless motor. It's capable of screaming up to an amazing 50,000 RPM uh, according to the Traxxas literature. Uh, predictably, this can make this thing absolutely fly along. I'll tell you, as stock, 
and my bashing video at 30 plus miles an hour, the thing feels very, very fast, almost too fast uh, at times when it uh, when it gets its head of steam uh, on it. At 50 miles an hour plus, I should think this thing is going to be quite scary. Please subscribe as uh, we've got a GPS test, uh, as I say, coming up on that. We're going to fit the highest speed, the optional uh, gearing on there and see if we can get over 50 miles an hour uh, with the GPS on board. So a real screamer of a motor, one of the biggest uh, in its class on there. Uh, this thing, absolutely featherweight. Um, I, I can't even weigh more than a couple of pounds. I'd be surprised. You could carry that around in one hand all day long. Uh, you have got the amazing... Uh, E-Revo suspension. This is this suspension is also fitted on the uh, the Traxxas 116 Slash, which you may have seen me review recently. Uh, so this will be very familiar to you uh, if you've seen that uh, uh, car review. Um, pretty much identical under the uh, the skin, uh, which is where me and Alan got talking about this. I said I wish I had a VXL one to play with, and Alan said, "Well, go borrow mine and film it." Um, you've got the waterproof uh, speed controller fitted on here. In fact, all the electrics on this car uh, are uh, waterproof. Uh, the receiver box is stated as waterproof. It is not the receiver itself that's waterproof. It's the receiver box. Uh, something that does need making fairly clear uh, to my mind when you're purchasing uh, a car like this. Something to be aware of uh, anyway. Um, my friend has fitted uh, an aftermarket uh, servo on there which is uh, slightly stronger than the stock one. Not to say the stock one is no good, it's just fitted a stronger one on there with a little more torque. Uh, this has the optional uh, RPM uh, nylon arms, which are a little bit tougher uh, than uh, standard on there. They're fitted uh, all round front and rear. Uh, that might be something that you want to consider on there if you're going to uh, uh, put this thing through a lot of abuse. This car is also fitted with aluminium steering knuckles, although the latest version of the Revo uh, is fitted with stronger steering knuckle or stronger knuckles uh, front and back. Uh, to leave it any sort of historic uh, problems that uh, may have arisen. Uh, overall, let's uh, take a quick look at the suspension in action. Well, I always like to get down up close and personal with the camera uh, on here so you can really see the suspension movement that any of these uh, cars that I review have got. Uh, so it's pushing it right down at the front on there. Uh, in terms of wheel movement, Yeah, good, nearly two inches of wheel travel uh, on there, I should say, overall. Uh, fairly high level of movement. That cantilever uh, uh, suspension is working pretty well. And there, again, uh, at the uh, the back. Again, got the same level, uh, pretty much, of uh, wheel clearance on there. Uh, quick uh, drop test for you. Let's see uh, if it bottoms out or not. Let's drop it from about 12 inches. Ah! Uh, Hardish landing, but that didn't bottom out, I don't think. Um, I'll review that on a video later to see, though. Well, I've uh, taken the camera off the tripod so we can do a quick walk around the car in more detail. There you can see that uh, awesome inboard suspension, just like its uh, bigger uh, brother. The uh, ESC and the Valenia motor on there. Moving around, we've got the same setup as I say on the uh, the rear. Uh, four wheel drive, independent suspension all round on this. As I say, got the twin battery compartments on there, so uh, you've got the option of uh, virtually doubling the runtime. Now let's have a quick look at the uh, underside of the car. And there you see the uh, underside of the uh, steering servo, which is uh, effectively upside down uh, on the uh, car. So in summary, what do I like about this car and what don't I like about it? What they found to be a slight issue with it. Uh, one thing, advantage is the incredibly lightweight it has got means it accelerates and travels at high speed like an absolute rocket. Uh, this is just with the stock, they have been running with the stock gearing and the 2S pack fitted. Uh, with 3S and the high speed gearing on 50 miles an hour, I should think this thing would be a real handful. Um, so I can see why the latest version is fitted with the uh, TSM. Oh, by the way, the latest version is also fitted with the Traxxas ID battery system uh, for the, the latest version of Traxxas chargers where you can plug any type of battery into the Traxxas charger and the Traxxas charger recognises from the ID system what type of battery it is. With this what else uh, do I not like about it? Um, the wheel clearance, uh, the wheel size can be an issue. If you go up to a kerb at the side of the road, um, you will find this won't want to go over it because the wheels aren't quite big enough where the 110 scale ones uh, 
are high enough to, to pop over curbs. Uh, that's a slight downside to having this car. The great thing about this, of uh, this size, is you can pop it in just about any rucksack or uh, the back of your own car to take it away. It didn't take up very much space at all, yet it's great fun in this package, uh, particularly with the, uh, the Valenium Power uh, on there. It jumps slightly nose high for my liking. Now, it's probably due to the light weight in there. Uh, you may find yourself, uh, once the jumper's taken off, wanting to apply a little brake, as I've done in my bashing video, uh, to make sure it doesn't land on its back. Uh, side sort of thing. Uh, it handles very very well if anything uh, on very very tight turns uh, it will lift its rear leg uh, or rear wheel up in the uh, uh, the air and just sort of corner onto three wheels. Um, handling pretty predictable um, it's not uh, too darty not too pointy um, so that's good if you're just starting out you can buy a multitude of options uh, to expand this car you can buy aluminium everything on here. Uh, you can spend hundreds if not thousands literally of dollars. Bear in mind the price of this with TSM is only $349 uh, with a battery, nickel battery, six nickel metal hydro battery uh, included as standard. Yet I've seen people uh, online with versions that spent $750, $1200 uh, on one of these. So you can modify them beyond belief, uh, get up to sort of 80 mile an hour range in there. What do I want to do that with the car this size? Not quite sure. That's people's personal uh, preference. Love the light bar. Absolutely love this light bar. I highly recommend getting that to anybody in the way. Uh, it's you actually screw the thing, uh, the wiring circuit in there. Uh, very easy mod to make. Very very good. Uh, like the fact that you can fit twin batteries in there to um, double the capacity for run times. Uh, great for, for those just uh, starting out. And again, you can buy another extra battery. Comes with one battery. You can buy an extra battery uh, and a parallel connector uh, at some point. Don't whatever you do, run the batteries in series. You will burn out the speed controller as the voltage will be too high. Overall, um, I quite like this. Um, I've had great fun playing with it this week. Many thanks, uh, Alan, for uh, loaning me uh, uh, this car to uh, play with. Uh, well, I hope you like this review and the other videos of the uh, the Traxxas uh, Mini E Revo. Uh, if you did, then please subscribe. I've uh, got a 3S LiPo GPS speed test uh, with the higher speed gearing on this uh, coming up fairly soon. And skate park test over the weekend. Uh, so, uh, lots to uh, look forward to. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please do like and by all means subscribe.